Coffee number one. Coffee number two. Good morning, guys. Happy Summer in the City Day 11. <laughs> Ryan just left. We had some coffee and watched some sports highlights. One of my friends is on the Notre Dame baseball team, so it was cool to see them win. I'm making the thumbnail for yesterday's vlog and uploading it. Also, quotes by Christy, if you guys follow her on Instagram. This is her collaboration with Show Me Your Moo Moo. I just love this sweatshirt so much. I'm just uploading this vlog right now, and then I'm gonna shower, and we're headed to breakfast, brunch. We're going to try this place in the East Village called Post. I've wanted to go for so long, apparently. Like, they have really good breakfast and biscuits, all the things. And then I don't really know what we're doing today, but it's gonna be something fun. That's what we decided. Um, there's lots of options in the air, so we'll see. And then tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning are playing in the Stanley Cup Finals. So, or it's not the finals, but you know series whatever I don't really know um so we're gonna watch that game tonight we lost the first one so <laughs> love that that's the plan welcome back hope you guys are enjoying this series there's only a few more days left also if you guys are new here subscribe to my channel so you're notified every time I post a video typically I don't post every day I post every Wednesday and Sunday for future while I make this thumbnail I'm gonna watch the summer I turned pretty because of course My breakfast outfit turned kind of chic. I'm here for it. <laughs> um, I just showered, I washed my hair, so we're gonna let it air dry at breakfast. This romper, I'm obsessed. I got it from Forever 21. If I can find it, I will link it below because it's really flattering and cute. I'm wearing a size small. I definitely could have gotten a medium, but they only had smalls left, so I was just like, I need it and it fit. Um, <laughs> shoes, Air Force Ones, some high socks, sunglasses. They're Gucci from a while ago. Bag, same as last night from Stodd. It's the moon bag. I'm so excited to get some food. All right, came back to the apartment really quick, changed into a tote bag, got my other sneakers on, and it's kind of breezy out, so I'm just putting on this button up. It's from Zara, bringing some water. Ryan and I are gonna go city biking, and thank you all for being so worried. I did get a refund and get like them to finally stop charging me for the ride. I like didn't dock my bike properly and it charged me for like 15 hours, so. Love that for me, so thank you all so much for DMing me, commenting, like telling me what to do because I was really stressed and I have just started city biking. I was like, come on. So, yeah, we're gonna go city biking. He was like, he was like, we should go to Gramercy National Park, like as a joke, but I was like, no, 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 it's Gramercy Park. Um, he, for some reason, wants to bike there, so we're gonna go. Oh, hey there. Hey. You ready to ride some bikes? I'm ready. I've never city biked with you before. Really? Do you want well, to follow is, me? I guess, if you know where to go. This is only my third time ever city biking, so. All right, let me not mess this up. So we just biked to Gramercy Park. <laughs> And I think I remember now that you have to have a key to like be able to go in. I think you need to like lift over here. I mean, it's a beautiful area and I'm sure it's a beautiful park. We're like looking inside. But yeah, Ryan bikes a lot faster than me. So we're dealing with that. <laughs> but I'm working on it. It's a good uh, leg workout for sure. There you go. That works? The beauty of city bikes. We just docked our bikes and we're walking around Gramercy Park area because Ryan biked over here the other day and thought it was nice. And I think it is nice. Feels kind of like Upper East Side vibes, but like on 19th Street. <laughs> oh, I love this little situation. This is very pretty. Okay, we just walked around Gramercy. I don't think it's a very big area. It's so nice. Yep, that's what I do. I'm like, that's a nice area to live in. <laughs> it's so peaceful and like, Lots of trees and little taverns. It was very cute. Nice area. Not a lot to like do, I guess, but it's nice to walk around. Okay, should we walk towards Flatiron? I think it's that way. That way. <laughs> Came across a little flower market in Union Square Park. We're hitting all the parks today. I 
I haven't been in a Barnes and Noble in so long. I need to smell the books. Oh my gosh, this is such a boost of serotonin right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Book talk. Ryan's so masculine, he walks up and goes, Hey, can I get a large fruity 2D? <laughs> I want I want something green, but I don't know what else is in it. So this is what Ryan's getting. Fruity 2D. <laughs> back with our bikes they I yeah let's try electric apparently it's like the same thing as you, you just go like you don't need to pedal as much they're like powerful or something so I'm just snuggled up I'm in a t-shirt and I'm watching the summer I turned pretty I'm on episode six and they just talked about something or not talked about basically they just had a scene this doesn't like spoil anything where one of the characters has a panic attack and I just think, like obviously it's like not fun to watch and it's really sad, but at the same time, I'm so happy that in a few shows I've watched recently, someone's had a panic attack and I don't know why, but for me it's almost comforting to know, like see stuff like this, obviously this is fiction, but talking about it, like they're literally sitting talking, he's like, yeah, like I thought something was wrong with my heart and, you know, all this stuff, and no, it's just a panic attack. Just hearing other people talk about it, if you guys don't know, like, that's something I've dealt with in the past few years. And it's really cool to see more television shows kind of bringing awareness to mental health and just talking about panic attacks in general. Like, it is, like, a little triggering at times because, like, you know, you think about your past experiences with it, but I don't know, I just wanted to turn on the camera and say that because I think like growing up, at least on the shows I was watching, you know, it would be a joke. Like, oh, I'm having a panic attack. But like, no, you're not. You're not having a panic attack. That's not what it is. Um, so it's in a weird way cool to see them kind of having a scene where that happens because it kind of makes me feel not alone. And it happens to a lot of people and it's more comforting that way so that when I do start to feel anxious or panicky, you kind of just remember like, oh, you know, I can I can talk myself out of this. This is not a health situation. This is something that, you know, it's hard to talk yourself out of it, but just to kind of have that mental capacity to be like, okay, I'm okay. My brain is just going all different ways. I'm just panicking a little. Anyways, I just had to talk about that because I really liked that they talked about it in the show and I'm really enjoying the show and I'm on episode six and I think there's only seven, so I'm really sad. I think it's based in Maine. And it's so good. Like, this show is so good. Go watch it. It's on Prime Video. The summer I turned pretty. I just put on some Peter Thomas Roth eye patches and called my grandma. Because I love her. And I'm seeing her soon. I'm going to Illinois in like two weeks for my family reunion. And I'm so excited. I literally love going so much. Um, but we've got some plans tonight. We're going out tonight. We're going to watch the lightning game. So I was like, let me prep my skin. I just um, gua sha I feel like it didn't do anything, <laughs> but eye patches. And I'm still watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I am on episode six, season one, drinking kombucha. I was like, ooh, I should drink this out of a wine glass, but I'm honestly lazy to get up. So that's what we're doing. Okay, it's time to get ready. Getting ready for the night of nights. <laughs> I've learned a lot about makeup recently and being friends with Kelly. I'm using these naturally serious cold pressed peel pads because I have like uh, sunscreen on from earlier and I just want to like freshen my face up and it just kind of wakes me up a little bit. Skin prep is so important in like the application of your makeup. Like if you have a good moisturizer, oil, situation that you apply before your makeup it makes your makeup look so good 
So I'm using this Ella Lou's beauty oil. This is what Kelly uses. And I love it. And then I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, which um, I really, really like. We're doing the makeup now. I'm wearing a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this stuff so much. And Tarte, <laughs> Tarte Shape Tape Concealer has been my go-to. It, I really like the Kosas Concealer, but um, this one seems to just hold a little better and just cover even a little bit more. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm so excited. We're going to watch the lightning game at Houston Hall. We got a table and it holds up to 20 people. We just have to like put a card down. We have to pay a minimum, but I think with 20 people, we will definitely get the minimum because we're also probably just gonna like eat there. I've always wanted to go and I've just never, never gone. They're also gonna have a DJ, which will be fun. My friend Kenzie Elizabeth is in town because she has a live show that she's doing in New York City at City Wine around Monday. And she asked what I was doing tonight and I was like, if you wanna come hang, come. She has like six friends from Dallas that came with her to like see her show. Chanel cream bronzer, Le Beige, the stuff is honestly amazing. It's definitely worth the money. And then my friend Jazz is gonna come, my friend Aubrey and her boyfriend Graham, they both went to my high school actually and they live in the city and we've been trying to hang out so it's kind of perfect because they're obviously gonna be watching the game tonight too. Ryan, his roommate, some of his friends. I'm just excited. I like having plants as you guys know and I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments on my video. Um, I guess it was yesterday or two days ago about like you know, being that friend that's always making the plans and reaching out. It was, I really felt seen. Like, I really felt seen. So thank you guys so much. Um, it was definitely a vulnerable moment. Blush, we're using Undone Beauty. Love this stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just nice. And especially, like, going out in New York City stresses me out. I get to go out a lot for, like, events and stuff, which is really fun. But when it comes to, like, going to bars in New York, I literally space out and I don't know what to do and whatever so it was just nice to have a ton of people be down to make a plan and someone else headed it on too it wasn't me I definitely facilitated but I didn't head it on so it was nice um we're using say star glow this stuff is amazing for highlight um so I'm excited about that if you guys can't tell I don't know what to wear because it's like 60 degrees outside so it might which is obviously nice but it's been like pretty warm they want to do like jeans and like a long sleeve crop top if I even have that. I don't really know what my inventory is looking like. <laughs> brows, refi brow gel. This stuff keeps your brows in place. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in a pretty long time. I've just been like trimming them and tweezing. I'm trying to keep them thick because I really like that feathered look right now. Then I feel like I've talked about this before, but a trick I've recently learned to keep like your cream products still looking glowy. I don't set my face with powder until after and then I just put it in the areas that I would want it to be set. So like under my eyes, my forehead, like T-zone area, but I'm not just gonna like put a ton of powder on my cheekbones so that it looks nice and glowy still. Okay, I wanna try out this L'Oreal bronzer. I just got it in the mail. Um, and I love my cream bronzer, but I wanna like set the bronzer with a powder bronzer. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. Ooh. All right, so it's definitely pigmented, which is good, but I guess like don't, you know, go light on it first. This is nice. I know I love their infallible stuff because it lasts really long. And I hate when the bronzer like melts off your face. Gotta stay glowy all night, right? Eyeshadow, we're gonna use this Dior Backstage Palette. This is the 001 Warm Neutrals. I love it because this is a eyeshadow base, which is nice. I didn't realize it until like two weeks into having the palette because I like went to put my brush in it and I was like, wait, this is a different consistency. So that's really convenient for, you know, being on the go and just being lazy like me sometimes. I think I'm just gonna do what I always do just like a cream color on the lid and then like a brown in the crease. Okay, I'm happy with the makeup. I decided, I decide every day if I'm gonna do eyeliner and I usually say no, 
But I'm really happy with how the eyeliner looks today. I used the Rare Beauty like felt tip liner and I just like super gently lined my eyes and did like the slightest bit of wing because we all know what happens if you do one too long and you gotta start small and then you can build on that if anything. So happy with the makeup. Now I'm gonna figure out what to do with my hair. It just air dried from earlier. I'm not as motivated with my hair since it's shorter. Not shorter, I don't even know. It's just not as like voluminous as with my extensions. I can't, I don't know. I'll just come, we'll see what happens. Okay, I just did my hair. I don't think this will really hold. I'm actually gonna put some spray, some spray tan, some hairspray. Um, basically I straightened it, which I, I don't like to straighten my hair, but I tend to do that recently. I don't know why, but I use heat protection and everything. Um, but then I used my Dyson Airwrap to, and I used like the curling barrels to just like flip up the ends of my hair. So it looks more like, you know, something rather than just like, oh, she straightened her hair. But I don't think it's gonna stay because I'm looking at the trees and they're like going back and forth, but I'm gonna spray some hairspray in and then we're gonna pick out an outfit together. Welcome to the closet. <laughs> okay, so lightning colors are like black, white, and blue. Not that I'm trying to like dress super lightning-y because otherwise I would just wear a t-shirt. Like I want to look cute in case we like go out after. I don't have like a lightning jersey. So I have this top from Forever 21, which could be a vibe for tonight. It's white, which is scary if someone were to spill a drink on me. Um, but, you know, we'll figure it out. It's like white flowy top and then it wraps around the back and ties. And then I also have this bodysuit from Free People. That's like a v-neck. This is giving winter vibes for me. Like, I don't know. And then the pants. Like, I don't know what pants would look good with that blouse. Like, obviously jeans, but would that blouse look good with baggy jeans? Also, the boys are texting me that they want to leave in 15 minutes, but our reservation's not for 45 minutes, so I'm confused. I'm gonna try on this white blouse with these jeans and we'll see what we get. Oh my gosh, wait. I was like, I know I have more stuff. I forgot I have, this could be perfect. It's a black crop top from Princess Polly with this really cute, like it's just like a bra basically, but it's long sleeve. Or I forgot about this top that I recently got from Revolve and I've been wanting to wear. It's like a one shoulder bodysuit with like mesh. Also a vibe. Okay, I'm gonna try these instead. The white wasn't doing it for me for nighttime. Okay, I'm happy with this outfit. I'm obsessed with these jeans. I guess I am a low rise girly now because these are just so sick. I love how baggy they are and like where they sit on my body. I just, I'm really happy. They're good American. I'll link them below. They're incredible. I, I ordered the size that I normally am in pants, which is a 28 and they fit great. And then I'm wearing my platform Converse. This top, let's go lightning. <laughs> I'm gonna use this bag and yeah. There's nothing much else to say. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can at the bar. Let's go have a night, guys. Let's go lightning. Let's go. Luke's got the jersey, we're ready. Ryan's a lightning fan tonight. He's literally blue. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. Fine. We just left um, House and Home. House and Home. We're headed to due west. We're due west. <laughs> due west. And we're gonna feel it out. It's kind of like it's a Saturday night in the city, but there's like no lines anywhere. We're really confused. It's also extremely windy. I'm a little cold. <laughs> a little, I'm a little cold, but it's fine. So we're gonna see what it's all about. We have like literally a large group. Thirty people. Thirty people. So it's like, how do you find a bar? Like. 
don't. You don't. So you don't. we're just Wish gonna see how many of us get in. Wish us luck. <laughs> the West Village in its prime. I'm leaving. And today, dun 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 dun. I want to be a part of it. Ow! Good meal. Hey y'all, baby.